If you ask me if this pulling guard is a good strategy, I would say in competition jiu-jitsu, for a guy who has a great guard, maybe it's the best strategy. But for a guy who has a not confident guard, or for a guy who is on the street, or for a guy who is in a situation which if he goes to the ground, he can maybe jump or something, or a police officer, it's a terrible strategy. The application of the positions has to come in, in a sense which is going to give you more power, more comfortable, and more ability to deal with your opponent. Of course, in some cases, pull the guard will be the best thing you can do, and in other cases, can be the worst thing you can do. So you have to understand first your opponent, your environment, and the situations you're planning to do technically to approach a position. Hi, this is Shadi. Recently, I did a video about guard slamming and I got the feeling that a lot of people got the wrong idea. People thought that I wanted people to get slammed when in fact that's not what I wanted. If you watch the video till the end, I advocated Daki Age, which means that if you get lifted up, the match should be over because it's essentially saying that you can get slammed and you can get hurt and the fight is finished and your guard is not good. I never wanted slams to be actually happening. Um, a lot of people, I'm sure, did not watch till the end and started leaving comments. So, just to actually put it out there. So, when it comes to guard pulling, and if you have a very good guard and you are competitive, not everything is a street fight, I get it. Let's do it in a way that can actually transition, and that's what we want. It's not that disconnection from reality. So, let's take a look at Tsunetane Oda. So, here he pulls and notice how he leaves his legs open all the time because if let's say he jumped and closed his legs while in mid-air what if the man is super strong and from there he can be stuck hanging up and he can get slammed and i believe in oda's days dake age was an ippon so here you see he leaves his legs open all the time and then controls around the waist so he cannot stand upward and slam or do daki age so it's a great way to understand that even the greats had a way of pulling guards and to prevent troubles let's look, take a look at crone he pulled guard while his legs were open he closed them as he got to the ground but kept them closed and otavio picked him up very easily and this is what i'm trying to prevent even in competitive grappling is what you need to understand that you need to be mindful yes you want to pull guard you have a great guard sure do it but you need to work on a guard pull or you need to have a guard that can be transitioned into reality when someone is standing up you need to have the reflex of having legs constantly open when they're down you can do whatever you want so oda not only he was very strategic with his guard pulling but also had great takedown abilities and notice his choice of takedowns earlier he did the double leg takedowns and he's doing the knee pick and uki otoshi and ko soto gake and sumigaishi i'll just let it run and you can see so it's the stuff that uh, jujitsu people today choose to do here is your arm drag being done also so oda Although he was very competitive and even Kano criticized him for guard pulling in and of itself, still it was nonetheless somewhat relevant to the reality because back then his generation there were a lot who were very much self-defense oriented and, and even he understood that pulling guard you should have your legs open while the man is still standing up this is the golden rule in my opinion when it comes to having guard is if they're standing up your legs should be open when they're down you can do whatever so if you have anything to add please let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening